this video we are going to discuss about a very important and easy test to measure the extraocular motility. The precise examination and recording of clinical findings is essential in the management of patients with ocular motility disorders. But before that, those who are new to this channel, please subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. The extraocular muscles or EOM motility is useful in finding out the difference in the alignment of the eyes at different position of gaze. It also evaluates any defects of the extraocular muscles of the eye. And the defects of this motility could be because of injuries at brain, stroke, trauma or any kind of infection. The motility of extraocular muscles can easily be tested by moving the eyes in all 9 gaze position. This 9 gaze position includes 6 cardinal points and 3 other gaze points. The green and blue are the 6 cardinal points, other 3 are the elevations which is uh, straight up, straight down which is also known as depression and the primary position. A, B, C are the other uh, points whereas 1 to 6 are the 6 cardinal points. The right gaze is considered as a dextro version whereas left is considered as a levo version. To begin the test, make patient sit or stand with the head up looking straight ahead. The examiner needs to match the eye level with the patient and hold a paint torch or an object about 16 inches or 40 centimeter in front of the patient eye. The examiner will move the torch in 9 gaze position and the patient will be asked to follow it with eyes without moving their head. Now you can see in this picture that the patient is moving the eyes in the levo versions and then the eyes will go to the primary and then the eyes is shifting towards the dextro versions. Remember that Whenever you are doing the test, always the eye should come to the primary position, then only you move the eyes. Now the eyes is on the elevation and now it is going towards the depression. Then once you completed with the vertical and the horizontal movements, then you can go with the oblique movements like now it is in levo elevation and then you can go with the dextro elevations which is you can see uh, in the video the eyes now is shifting towards the levo depression and then the eye will go towards the texto depression so in each conditions you can see that uh, the eyes is coming from the primary position once test is done grading and documentations become important part here you can see that the white line indicates the actual ocular movements the eye should have and the red line indicates that the movement which is present at that point of time where the eye should be at the place of white line. So for the grade 0 which is a normal extent the sclera should concealed by the canthus in normal horizontal version. For the grade 1, if the sclera is just visible, the version is graded as 1. For the grade 2, if there is an inability to adduct or abduct the eye more than halfway. For the grade 3, if there is an inability to abduct or adduct the eye in more than a quarterly way, which is graded as 3. For grade 4, if there is an inability to move at all from the primary position which can be graded as 4. A diagrammatic representation of ocular motility examination finding demonstrates the ocular motor deficit and provides a logical approach to diagnose and treat the condition. Therefore, the documentation can be done in a broad age test and it can be graded from 0 to 4 based on the grading system plus indicates the overaction minus indicates the underaction and it measures the six cardinal points of the eye one can also measure the nine gaze position the picture here shows the recordings of the extraocular muscles motility 
However, the picture is only of the right eye, but it should be major for the right as well as the left eye. Thank you, thank you for watching this. If you found this video to be useful and effective, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you once again.